it's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be pretty they're, tearful. They're yeah, it is. Um, we already, you know, we were making ends meet. We were getting by. The economy's pretty tough right now. We're all down. But I knew if we lost the election and we went non-smoking, then on top of the economy, that would be the straw that broke this camel's back, and it did. And it did. I went down $27,000 in one month from the month before. Um, it was kind of funny. I've been deader than crap. <laughs> I don't know how else you want to say it, but I've been, okay, let's just say it's been a morgue in here. Mm -hmm. But I announced yesterday morning that I would be shutting the sandbar down. And we had the best day we ever had because all the looky, what do you call them, looky loos and mm -hmm. curiosity people packed this place. Oh my God, you're really closing and what, you know. Man, what can we do? What can we do? And it's like, it's done. I mean, yeah. I'm not throwing good money after bad. I've got another bar up the street, mm -hmm. Frosty's, and it took a pretty good hit. Not like this, not at all like this. Um, and it's actually kind of turning around a little bit, but it sounds, the only way I can put this is I'm sacrificing this one to save the other one. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping the loyal customers that I do have in here will go up there and mm -hmm. And that bar will be just fine. And it doesn't have the overhead this one does. I mean, the utilities are a third of what this one is. Um, the employ employees are a third of what this one is. I mean, the, it's just easier to run that bar. So I'm pretty sure I can save that one. But this one, I can't. I, I pulled, I, I specialed myself right out of business. How many people work here? Um, 11. Okay. So it's 11 folks that are going to have to find something else. Yep. I'm trying to help them. I have a good friend of mine that owns another business that's going to help find them jobs. I'm going to do everything I can mm -hmm. to. Um, there's a couple of them that I can probably take to Frosty's. Um, and then I, I, I'll help the rest of them. I, I know people mm -hmm. and I know we're all, everybody's looking for good help. Did you, the minute this vote took place, did you see this almost immediately? Immediately. immediately. It was like, Oh my God, I was hoping it wouldn't be like mm -hmm. that, but it was. Yeah. And it hurt Frosty's too. The first couple of weeks, Frosty's was struggling. Mm -hmm. And I'm going, oh my God, what am I going to do? Now, Frosty's actually, I think is going to be fine. And it's, I, I'm already seeing new faces in there and it's coming around. Um, and it'll make it. I don't have the capital mm -hmm. to wait four or five months to see if this is going to turn around. And Last time I had to sell a car, my vet, to keep this going. I don't have nothing to sell this time. And it hurt. And it did hurt. Yeah. And we made it through, and then we got the smoking back. So, but this time, I, my banker suggested yeah. shut the doors. I really thought we were going to be all right, but I think the perception that their commercials were saying and that really hurt us. Mm -hmm. I think it scared everybody thinking everything was going to go back to smoking and that wasn't it. We were fighting for five bars, a nursing home and a couple other tire shop, welding shop. And nobody noticed anything for two years and then all of a sudden the do girders oh my god our health, our health. They didn't come in here anyway and they're not coming in here now. Why couldn't we just have left well enough alone? Yeah. It was fine. No complaints, no problems. Every Smokers had somewhere to go. And the non-smokers had 95% majority of places in this mm -hmm. town to go. But a lot of people came up to me and after the fact and said, I think I voted wrong. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, but you know, I know the city attorney and the city manager, they worked really hard on that and they did try to make it as easy as they could mm -hmm. and I don't blame them at all. Yeah. I don't. Um, the spar has been here for a long time. I'm hoping that the next person that comes in as well and maybe that'll help it um, maybe shutting it down and giving it a facelift and doing some stuff to it have a grand reopening and you know maybe they'll have a chance and I hope they do I was planning on getting out of this business anyways I'm getting old <laughs> um, this isn't how I wanted to go out that you tried different things to, to gin the business back up again, even without smoking. Right. What, 
What were you trying? What? Oh, on Friday and Saturday nights, I paid for the jukebox. You could come in and play music on the jukebox, and I'd pay for it. Um, we tried late night happy hours mm -hmm. from 12 to 2, you know, 12 to closing, 12 mm -hmm. to one thirty, And, but I specialed myself right out of business. I mean, that would be the only time they would come in. Mm -hmm. And then you can't survive on running specials. That's, can't give specials a are a loss leader. They're supposed to bring you in and you stay when the special's over mm -hmm. or, or it just didn't work. I, t I tried karaoke on Wednesday night, mm -hmm. didn't work. Um, it just didn't work. A good customer, and I love him dearly, and I still do, and I appreciate his honesty. He said to me, Nancy, he said, I'm really sorry, and I love you, and I love your bar. He said, but I'm loyal to my cigarettes. He said, I'm going to go where I can smoke. Mm -hmm. He said, I don't want to stand outside when it's 20 below to smoke a cigarette. I'm not going to do it. And I said, I understand. I'll close, but closing time Saturday night, she's done. Yep, so if anybody wants to come out and say hi, have a drink, say goodbye, my help will all be here. It's going to be pretty rough. It's going to be pretty better, tearful. Better yeah, it is. I really haven't talked to anybody. Um, I really haven't. I've just kind of been concentrating on doing specials to get people back in here and I really didn't talk to I'm sure they're down to. Yeah. I've heard rumors they are. I just haven't talked to anybody. So it's the end of an era at the sandbar. Yeah, it is. But it might be the beginning of a new one. So, And I'm sure it will be. And there's some really awesome people that are interested in buying this. So I wish them all the luck in the world. And maybe with a fresh start, they'll be fine. Because this is, it was a tradition for a lot of years.